Hello, New Egg fans. I'm Trisha Hirschberger here at CES 2020 at Corsair's Press Suite, ready to check out all there is to see. Let's do this. Fortunately for today's RGB lovers, there's a lot of software out there to help you control what all of your beautiful unicorn RGB looks like. But today we have news here with Joseph to speak about it that will make it even simpler. Joseph, what's going on with AuraSync and IQ? All right, so for the longest time, ASUS and Corsair have been partners in a lot of things, right? So this year, we've actually announced that AuraSync and IQ now work as one. So as you can see behind me, we have the wall PC here where IQ is controlling all the components here, from the fan, the memory, including the Asus motherboard. So this year, you know, um, one thing that we can do now is we can control motherboards from Asus moving forward towards mm -hmm. the end of the year. And then, um, one thing to note though is Orsync is running in the background, so you need to have that running. Okay. And IQ can take control of the uh, integration, customization of lighting all throughout your PC components. How exciting, thank you for sharing that. You're welcome. I am standing here with Mitch in the Corsair press suite at CES 2020 about to talk about some new air cooling. Tell me about the A500. Yeah, the A500 is our first air cooler in about eight years. So our other coolers that we had done uh, back in 2011, they were the A50 and A70. Mm -hmm. um, they were lower end coolers and they didn't quite take off like we wanted to. So this time we've taken a step back, we've redesigned it, we've given a lot more thought into what we're doing and this time we're going to come in from the top of the market with a high end air cooler. Cool. Yeah, not everyone that builds high-end is looking for liquid cooling, surprisingly enough. So to have a nice high-end air cooling option is really awesome. Excellent, yeah, yeah. I mean, the A500 gives us a lot of opportunities to use some of the other technology that we've spent a lot of R&D uh, and time and money, right? Um, designing, coming up with things like the ML fans. So this you know, A500 comes with two of them. Yeah. Uh, as well as our XTM50 thermal paste. Right? Cool. So it's pre-applied, so it's really easy to use. Out of the box, you can install it. It's really quick, under 10 minutes, without cutting your fingers off. <laughs> thank you, my fingers. Thank you, personally. So what else goes into making a higher-end air cooler? Yeah, so I think uh, the big thing is mainly size, right? You need a lot of fins, aluminum fins. Um, to dissipate the heat, as well as heat pipes. Now you need really high quality heat pipes, and here we have four heat pipes. Two of them are six millimeter, two of them are eight millimeters. So the six millimeter heat pipes will heat up a little faster. Mm -hmm. So at low loads, they uh, make sure that you know things are cool and quiet. And then once you start pushing more power through the cooler, those two eight millimeter heat pipes are gonna take over and make sure that everything is really cool and quiet, continuing all the way up to 100% PWM. Awesome, well it sounds super quiet. It looks lovely, congratulations. Thank you very much. I'm here with Kevin from Corsair who's going to tell me all about the Corsair Concept Orion. What is this beauty? So Concept Orion is a bunch of Capellix LEDs that we've actually applied to thin transparent film and put some transparent uh, traces on there so it gives this lighting effect on the glass. And it, basically when the, uh, LEDs, the LEDs are off, you can see right through the glass. But uh, when they're on, it gives you this dazzling light show. Um, for example, this is a, uh, an audio visualizer here. We have some music playing on the system, um, but I can also cycle through some of the other effects here. And it uh, looks like we have some snowy effects. Uh, we have some red uh, rainfall. And then some, you know, one of our favorite films here, The Matrix. So <laughs> uh, can I say that? <laughs> Uh, I, I mean, I would definitely say that if it were me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I see you're controlling all of this pretty simply through IQ software. Yes, so IQ software, it is uh, enabled in here in this alpha build. Um, we can control it, as you can see here. You can select different zones. Mm -hmm. It's controlled just like all of our other RGB components. Um, it's very easy to do. You can create layers. You can do all sorts of different stuff. Uh, one of the neat, neat little features of IQ is that you can actually attach uh, executables to certain profiles. So let's say um, you bring up VLC Media Player and you want to listen to some music you can have it automatically go to the visualizer uh, effect. Um, additionally, uh, it's able to be controlled with our Commander Pro and Lighting Node Pro lighting controllers right now. Mm -hmm. So it's, uh, uh, the controllers we have on the market can control the Capellix Project Orion at the moment. So. Awesome, and now I know the word concept is in the name, but are there plans to bring this to retail? And if so, when would that be? Uh, yes, actually, so we're actually projecting for a 2020 release. Awesome. Uh, when in 2020, that's up in the air, but you know, it's soon. It's and soon. price point in 2020 is also up it's in the air? It's pretty up in the air. Okay, yeah. great. <laughs> you know it's my job to ask. <laughs> awesome. Is there anything from Corsair's point of view that you want to give us your best 
future uh, fortune telling guess as to what might be coming in the near future? Um, more customizability uh, for end users, mm -hmm. uh, ease of use. I think that's really our goal is to make it easy for the end user to customize their system exactly how they want it. Uh, that's pretty much what it is, you know, whether that's RGB or different fans, coolers, everything under the sun. So. I love it. Corsair making it easy, making it customizable. Thank you so much, Kevin, for talking with us today. Thank you.